one of India's midnight children, born around the time of independence. All through the 1950s, there was an air of nation building in the country. And I was quite excited with the idea of nation building. By the time I had graduated from school, I was clear that that's what I wanted to do. During my time at IIT, around 65 to 67, there was a major drought in Bihar and Eastern UP. And Lal Bahadur Shastri, the Prime Minister, gave an inspiring call to the nation to tighten our belts and miss a meal to share the suffering of the poor. It was around that time that I decided that I did not want to follow a normal engineer's career and I would dedicate my life to nation building, particularly in the rural areas. At about this time, a number of Indian students abroad had started an organization called Front for Rapid Economic Advancement of India. They were looking for counterparts in India and they got in touch with me. We were inspired by the similarity of our ideas and we decided to set up the first chapter of Front for Rapid Economic Advancement in India at the IIT Bombay campus. Initially, it started out by involving students during the summer time to take part in activities of rural development or working in the slums in urban areas. And gradually it expanded into a movement under the inspired leadership of one of our senior friends, Dunu Roy of IIT Bombay class of 67. I must confess that when we started FRIA, we had no idea of what development really meant. But as we gathered experience as the young students went out and confronted the issues of poverty, we began to learn the lessons of development. And I still remember Dunu articulating it very well in one sentence, that development is a necessary process of confrontation with vested interests. Shortly after we launched FRIA at IIT Bombay, I got a fellowship to go abroad and I handed over the reins of Freya to Dunu and went abroad. Came back in early 1981. Unfortunately at that stage Freya had a lot of internal problems and I had to sh abandon the idea of running Freya and do something new. The next stage was the establishment of People's Science Institute. We were fairly clear about our goal at PSI and that was to empower the common people, particularly the poor, to take responsibility for their lives, for their development and to rise above the poverty line in a sustainable and a socially just manner. When we started People Science Institute, we were quite lucky that there had been several very, very important and successful experiments of poverty eradication in India, particularly in the 70s. India is primarily a country of agriculturists. There are farmers and there are people who lab labor on the farms. But our agricultural productivity is very, very poor when we compare it with what is possible and what other nations have achieved. We were also seeing stagnation of the Green Revolution idea. Productivities in the Green Revolution belt were either stagnant or had begun to fall. And therefore, we needed a different approach to enhancing agricultural productivity. One idea was 
the recognition that agriculture is not simply what happens on the fields but it involves good forestry good water management good land management and innovative approaches to new problems that emerge and therefore we tried to follow the ideas of watershed development where you treat a region a catchment of a river or a stream from the ridge line to the valley what you do at the top affects what happens down in the valleys where most of the fields are we involved a lot of small organizations and the first time i remember we began with a program around 2000 uh, with about 15 organizations working in small watersheds of 500 hectares and in these watersheds the basic approach was that we bring the people to come and share a common dream the dream being to make the land more productive or as i put it very often in the villages ki dharti par humko haryali chahiye aur chehre par humko khushali chahiye it was in this task that we aligned ourselves with a number of small organizations in uttarakhand and himachal to implement the watershed plans barren land has been converted into highly productive land today we can see in these watersheds that the so called wastelands which barely produced a ton of biomass per hectare producing anywhere about 20 tons uh, of biomass per hectare what we are seeing are streams that were seasonal becoming perennial streams we are seeing wells being full of water all year round in the valleys main anil sharma hu pichle 20 saalon se gini ghat mein sathi ke sath kaam kar raha hu स्वयं सेवक बनने से पहले मैं एक कॉलेज में पढ़ाता था तो कॉलेज में कुछ स्वयं सेवक मेरे सूत्रा संस्था के स्वयं सेवक मेरे को मिले उन स्वयं सेवकों की प्रेरणा से मेरे को लगा कि मेरे को ये जॉब छोड़ देनी चाहिए नौकरी छोड़ देनी चाहिए और गांव में जाके काम करना चाहिए फिर हम लोगों ने साथी ने पी ने वो स्थानीय लोगों ने जलगम योजना को गिधी घाट क्षेत्र में कार्यान्वित किया तो इसके लिए जो है वो जलगम परियोजना जो हमारी सफल हुई है उसके लिए मैं डॉक्टर चोपड़ा साहब का बहुत बहुत आभारी हूँ कि उन्होंने समय समय अनुरूप हमें वो हमारा ज्ञान भी बढ़ाया है अपना स्टाफ भी उपलब्ध कराया है तो इस वजह इस कारण से हम एक अच्छा वाटर शेड यहाँ खड़ा कर पाए खुद अपने आप ट्रेंच है खुद भी उसमें घास लगाया और इन्होंने बताया हमको ग्राम पोस्ट दिया हमने डैम बनाया कुए बनाए सब कुछ किया हमने खुद काम किया महिलाओं ने और आगे न इसमें हमने नकदी फसलें उगाई पहले यहाँ कुछ नहीं होता था इधर उधर लगाते थे फसलें और हमारे पास अब बहुत घास है एक दो परिवार ऐसा है हमारा जो उसमें हम घास बेचते हैं वर्तमान में मैं साथी में एस के साथ ही कार्य कर रही हूँ मैं पीएसआई के थ्रू ही एक प्रोजेक्ट यहाँ पे चला हुआ है डी सूखा न्यूनीकरण प्रोग्राम उसमें कार्य कर रही हूँ और अभी उसका प्लानिंग फेज चला हुआ है मैं चार गांव हमारे पास हैं उन गाँव की प्लानिंग करके पीएसआई को दे रही हूँ पहले हमारे पानी नहीं होता था पानी की दिक्कत थी तो इन्होंने हमारे लिए वो भी प्रोजेक्ट चलाया तो कुएँ बनाए बाड़ियाँ बनाई तो हमको गर्मी के मौसम में भी पानी सब्जी उगाते हैं हम अपने लिए जो बजाती उसको बेचते भी हैं आई मस्ट कन्फेस दैट आई डू नॉट यूज एनी थिंग आउट ऑफ द कोर्सेज दैट आई लर्न एट आई आई टी बट दे वर अ लॉट ऑफ लेसन बियॉन्ड द कोर्सेज एट आई आई टी वी वर टोल्ड गेट योर फंड राइट योर कॉन्सेप्ट हैव टू बी क्लियर एंड दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन the second lesson that i always remember is be clear why you are doing whatever you are doing your objectives have to be clear and i keep hammering this with whoever i work with but tell me first why do you want to do this the third thing that i remember from iit was that you have to have a method to go from a to b you, you need to know your pathway 
and for that what we learned was to work methodically you require systems you require a systems approach to implementing activities and one reason why at people science institute we are able to scale up our activities from one village to a district to two districts four districts is because we can bring in a systems approach to implementing our work you know the task of uh, nation building is not easy very often people say to me yaar itne log itna kaam kar rahe hain par phir bhi itni garibi hai hamare desh mein the way i look at that statement is there's so much to do and i would encourage every iitian to think hard how many engineers do we need how many scientists do we need and how many people do we need to get rid of poverty and poverty is in the villages gandhi ji was absolutely right when he said that india lies lives in its villages even today even today we are in our villages india is one of the slowest urbanizing nations in the world and we must address ourselves to the problems where they are otherwise we'll end up creating little islands of prosperity in our towns and cities and we'll be surrounded by this vast ocean of poverty i think that iitians can contribute enormously but poverty eradication is not a part time job it is not something that you can just volunteer a few hours a week so particularly to the younger iitians i would say take a leap into the dark don't worry about the safety net the safety net is already always there once an iitian you can be assured of the support of other iitians so take a leap into the dark don't be scared and risk it huh don't be scared take a risk the rewards are enormous